Hello, it's Miss Danielle from the Grimshaw Municipal Library, and I'm here to show you our feature creature for the month of May. And again, we have a sponsor, it's the MD of Peace, so we're really grateful for their sponsorship because we have been able to buy books now to go along with our creatures. And so in our library, we have this book all about the Jiboa. So it's pretty cool. So you should come down and check it out. Um, so our creature this month is the Jerboa, and he's pretty cool because it's really tiny, like a mouse, but it jumps like a kangaroo. And they can jump up to nine meters. Feet. Feet, sorry, nine feet. Um, so they don't have to be fast because they can jump really far. Uh, another interesting fact about them is they actually don't drink water, which is kind of a little different for a mammal. They get all of their hydration from bugs and the little plants that they eat. So um, this is what you are going to find in your kit this month. Okay, so we are making this. It's kind of cool. So in your kit this month, you're going to find a little fact sheet. You're going to find this really cool food chain book. And you're going to find this printout. And you're going to find this um, brown piece of paper. This is very exciting. You're going to find two elastics and um, these sticky backed um, foams. And two cups. Okay. So, the reason we have all this stuff is we are making this guy, and he jumps. Are you going to do it now? Yeah, I'll do it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ready? I'm going to back up. You ready? Okay. Jump. Oh, he can jump better than that. He can, but I don't want to pick him up. <laughs> no, push him. Okay. Do a good jump. Okay. He jumps like... There we go. That. That's better. Excuse me while I pick my Jerboa up. So Jerboas, I think they don't generally jump high, but they jump long. So if you tilted the cup, you, I don't know. Like and you? Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> it probably could actually go nine feet. Maybe, yeah. Okay, so well, I'm going to show you how we're going to make this guy. Um, so we're doing a technique called paper um, layering. Lots of times you see it done in cards. So... Um, you're going to have your piece of paper like this. You're going to cut out three different, um, so I'll just put these on here real quick, like that, and like that. Okay, so you're going to cut out one, so it looks like this. And that is cutting out the whole picture that you can see, except for, I think, not his whiskers. Not his whiskers, yeah. yeah. His whiskers looks kind of weird. So you're going to cut his outline out. Okay. Okay, and then the next one you're gonna cut out is this one. Ooh. So you're cutting out his outline again, except you're cutting off his tail and you're cutting off one of his legs. Okay, and then the next one you're gonna cut out is like this. So you're just having his head. Okay. Okay, so let me just move this stuff over. So this is what we're doing. So for this craft, you need um, glue and scissors and like a pokey pencil. So in your kit, you're gonna have three squares that look like this. They are super small. They're going to get smaller. <laughs> so you're gonna cut them into quarters. So you're gonna cut them in half and then cut those pieces in half. Okay. Um, you should have enough to cut um, 12 tiny squares, and I think you only need eight. No. I think, I think you, well, 12 tiny squares is a little bit extra, just in case you have trouble peeling the sticky bits and stuff. And then we thought about us cutting all the little squares, but then they would be very small and super easy to lose. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to take, um, we're going to take our body, the one that's missing the legs. We're going to turn it over. I don't know if you can see that very well. Yep. The white. Okay. So you're going to take your stickies and we're going to put 
one on his foot. So what we're trying to do is make him three-dimensional. I'm going to put one up on, I think that's his ear, and his other ear. So you just kind of place them so they don't hang off the edge. And I'm trying to remember where I put them all. Maybe on his nose. His nose. Okay. I think I stuck one in the middle as well. Um, so the... So if something kind of like that, okay, then pick all the paper off the other side. It's just like double sided stickers. Kind of. Then you're going to take this and you're going to line it up with your um, full piece. And you just kind of push on where you've put your foam blocks. So I don't know if you can, can you see in yeah, there a little bit? Yes, we can see inside okay. it a little bit. So that's giving it um, a three dimensional mm -hmm. view. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing with this one, only it doesn't need as many. So we're going to do one on the ear again, one on the nose, one on the other ear, And I'm going to kind of put one in the middle, like there-ish. Mm -hmm. Okay. So pull all the pieces off. You don't want to have them in the middle of the paper because then that will make your paper more likely to bend after your jerboa jumps. Yeah. So you kind of want them out at the edge. Edges, yeah. Okay. And so then we're going to take this one and we're just lining it up the same again. Just like that. And so it gives them another three-dimensional. Can you see that? I can't. It looks pretty cool, actually. The shadows oh, are working. Like okay. The shadows are working in here. Okay. So you have him like that. Then the next thing you do is you take your cup. Um, I'm. You guys are having these paper cups. I'm just using this one as an example. You take something sharp and poke it through four times. And then you take your elastic, just cut it in half, and I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but you're just putting it through the hole. Like that, just like that. So you're gonna tie a knot. The bigger the hole you need, you have, the bigger the knot you're gonna need. So you're going to do that four times, so you're going to put, drag it through both, all four holes so you end up with a crisscross like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then you're going to take your jaboa and you're going to take your glue stick and you're just going to stick them on your paper. And this just helps him stick better to the paper, basically. Okay. It's hard to find waxed coffee cups that glue stick sticks to happily. Yeah. So then you just wrap it and wrap your paper around your cup like that. And you're just going to glue like that in there and your bow is like that. And then he is ready to jump. So the thing with the elastic is that um, I'm just going to show them. Yeah. So if you pull your elastic too tight, it'll pull in the sides of your cup, and that's not good. But if you leave your elastic too loose, then your jerboa doesn't go as far. Right, because there's no resistance from the elastic. So I, so I did mine about like that. Um, you could do it a little tighter. It's good. And then it's as simple as sticking them on your other cup and pushing them down and letting them go. Oh, oh no! <laughs> okay, that would have been a great ending though, Danielle, oh, if we would have got it to happen. Okay, let's do it again. Okay. Ready? You push him down and let him go. There we go. That's better. So I hope you enjoy your Jaboa and send us a picture. Bye.